Nuruznan. Geldi Nuruz, yaşardı tabiyet, buldu güller, hınca hınca. Mol hosuldun, geldi haber, toldi şatka, kan alem şunca. Today is Nuruz, Uyghur New Year. It's celebrated 21st of March each year. During the Nuruz, Everybody comes together, such as friends, neighbors, whole family, and we make traditionally Noruz Eshi. Noruz Eshi is made from different grains, seven different grains, and it's a symbol of harvest. But today I'm going to make one of the most daily important food as well, naan, and it's Noruz version and also my version. It's a big celebration for us. And it's also big celebration of the spring, lots of beautiful flowers. So I hope you enjoy all the flowers today. Let's get started. While I warm up the milk, I'm going to crack the egg. As usual, we are going to remove white piece from it. Now I'm going to keep small piece. I keep this for later for use it on the top of the naan. In Uyghur naan, we use always gunjit and siyadan. Gunjit is sasmi, siyadan is black cumin seeds. In today's recipe, I'm going to add sugar as well because it's celebration. We make it slightly sweet. Soda. Yeast, egg, oil, add the milk, And like always, cover it with a damp towel. Let it rest for about half hour. After about half hour, the dough is rested. Now we are going to make beautiful flower naan for the spring, for the norus. First, push out all air from the dough so it becomes very tight and dense like this. Roll it on your palm. You will see lots of loose uh, cumin seeds, black cumin seeds on the table. You can put them back like this. It says celebration, so we are going to make beautiful, big, round naan. During the celebrations, we make always big naan. Roll it out until it's the size of a pizza. Now we are going to make naan form. It means the edges should be thicker than the middle, like this. Grab the edges and at the same time stretch it to the side. Turn it around, press the middle and we are going to make the inside of the ring 
we are going to make it thinner by using smaller rolling pin. As you can see, the center is thinner than the sides. But the sides are quite thick and the thickness of the middle is quite thin but not too thin. Now we are going to use chekkuch like this and make beautiful flowers on the top of the naan. If you don't have a chekkuch you can use a bunch of toothpicks and tie them up to make chekkuch and use them for making this kind of flowers. They are beautiful. You can make your own beautiful flowers. You can decide the forms by yourself. If you have little children, you can let them do this step. It's so fun. So beautiful, look at this. We are going to let it rest for about 15 minutes. And don't forget to cover it with a clean, dry kitchen towel. And in the meanwhile, we are going to preheat the oven at 250 degrees. It's the highest uh, force air and preheat it for about 10 minutes as well. Leave the baking tray in the oven as well. Let it heat up. There you go. After about 15 minutes, the naan is ready. Now I'm going to brush it with the egg and I already add a little bit milk to it. It gives the naan an um, amount of great shine and it makes it golden brown. Also the edges. If you have any kind of nuts, you can use them. For this one, I'm going to use sunflower seeds. They are so delicious. While it's baking, they will become crunchy and very delicious. Look at this. Press it slightly so it stick to the naan. Be careful with a hot baking tray. Place the naan very careful on the top of it. We are going to bake it for about 10 minutes in high heat. Traditionally, we bake it in a tandoor, especially street vendors. They bake it very quick and take them out right away, one by one. In this case, we are going to use the highest fire and bake it for about 10 minutes. It's ready! Oh, it looks golden, beautiful brown. The nun is ready! But the naan is not ready yet because we are going to cut it in the pizza-like pieces and then topped with uh, delicious jam and dressed up with beautiful edible flowers. Look at this. They are so cute, so beautiful. They are from a local edible flower shop. They are so cute, delicious. My grandma used to make lots of fig jams. That's why I use for this recipe fig jam as well. You can use as much jam as you want. 
Now for the fun part, we are going to decorate it with beautiful edible flowers. Oh my god, look at those flowers, they are so cute. It's symbol of spring. This is for Norus. Look at this. Can you imagine you can eat those flowers? Beautiful Norus flower nun is ready. Oh my, look at this. This is one of the most, most beautiful, incredible, cute nun I've ever made. I hope you like this recipe. If you like it, don't forget to celebrate your Norus with your friends and family by sending this video to them. See you next week. Bye.